one thing that people don't tell you about pregnancy is that how big they are. <laughs> Say meow. Meow. <laughs> I receive another piece of news. It's Friday and I actually have no plans because Matt has decided to go meet his friends which is a very happy thing. I'm just gonna go and continue doing my work for the rest of the day and tomorrow is gonna be a very very full day because we are gonna go for our prenatal classes. First of the three prenatal classes that I'm gonna be taking. I know it's a bit overkill but the one tomorrow is a bit interesting because it is actually planned by my confinement nanny's agency, Confinement Angels, and they are working together with Singapore Red Cross for infant first aid. So that's something that I don't really see many prenatal classes include because most of them, they are more about like, oh, what's the right temperature to bathe a baby? How do you carry a baby? How do you swaddle a baby? How do you change diapers? And so on. Of course, those are extremely essential, but I thought it would be really good to also have the knowledge and be equipped with infant first aid. Yeah. The whole house is in a mess, as you can see, because I just filmed an outfit, <laughs> TikTok. Anyway, I just wanted to come on to show you guys today's makeup. I decided to do something more like festive and by the time you guys are watching this, it's definitely gonna be on TikTok or and IG stories already. And this is the hair that I just did like very randomly and it's actually very nice and put together. It's Aaron's day. I just dropped off my first son, aka Matt, my husband, at Estic, and he's doing his laser right now. And because today I'm going for my first prenatal class, I told you guys about, I thought I would go and buy some snacks for everybody in the class because it's four hours and it's from one to five. We just chopped down our lunch. I had the Sarawak Kolomi in the Shaw Food Republic. Honestly, not great, but. Yeah, I chomped it down in like 10 minutes, which probably wasn't the best idea. A lot of bread. <laughs> I think that's gonna... I wonder if it's gonna make us more sleepy or listen better in class. this makeup look and I'm gonna post it on TikTok. Anyway, I've got lunch in like one and a half hours and I'm hungry so I should go and buy something to eat. YY is open. One thing that people don't tell you about pregnancy is that you freaking always drop things on your belly. Hey, look at how dirty my dress is. Oh my gosh. So I'm guessing this is concealer. This is like, I don't know, biscuits. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I should probably go and get it washed. Do you think I should attempt to use the hand sanitizer? I'm just afraid it will leave me with like an even bigger, like weird patch. A few moments later. 
lightening up, I guess. I have not done my hair. I'm thinking if I should because I'm a little bit lazy. Honestly, very lazy, not just a little bit. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna like do a tiny bit. A lot of people always ask me what this color is. It's the GHD Unplugged. I have not been using my Dyson Corel simply because I lost the charger, which is really sad. And then GHD gave me this and yeah, the rest is history because until I find my charger, I don't know how else I can charge my Corel. Morning. I'm having hotel breakfast. We're staying at Vibe Hotel and I really like this place. I didn't really vlog much because I wanted to rest. But um, I love myself a a la carte breakfast and we have it here. Last night we came to this restaurant for dinner as well and it was pretty nice. At a loss today, I'm not sure if I should do the Asian menu or the Western menu. Ooh, okay, so Matt's going for the chef's break. That looks really good. Don't know if I should do our toes or should I do nasi lama or brekilos, dox and bacon. But I can't eat smoked salmon, so I'll have to change it out. Hmm. This is first course. Everything comes with a croissant and some liquid. And the coffee, drinks, juices are free flow, which is great. Someone queued 45 minutes for this. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I went to have my massage. Look at how big his bowl is. Alright, another infant class. Today we are learning about boobies. Look at how big they are. <laughs> <laughs> my hair feels so much lighter. I'm ready for my confinement. Show a new hair. <laughs> This is like the biggest one so far. So this is one of the Final PT with Angia before I pop. How big it is this? Must see from the side. This is how big it is. From the front still not so bad. <laughs> oh no. I can honestly hardly believe that today is the final, final gym session with Andrea. Once again, she told me not to rush into things after I give birth. I think she knows me well and she knows that I'm gonna feel quite terrible about not being able to do anything or move around much after I give birth. But she did say strictly one and a half to two months before I return back to doing anything with her. And same goes for my Pilates. My instructor Jing also told me the same thing. Jing says I can go back like after confinement, so she'll help me with my DR if I have any. Or even if I don't have bad DR, she will be able to help me kind of speed the recovery process. Oh no. 
because it's white. It's already dirty. Some hand sanitizer and see if it helps. Yes. This is it guys. You won't be seeing me post workout stuff for a very long time. Okay, the lighting is much better here. Yeah, I gotta say I've missed like chill PT sessions because prenatal PT has just been really chill. Obviously for obvious reasons, it needs to be more chill because you don't want anything to like compress a baby or harm the baby. And it's always better to err on the safe side, right? Anyway, I'm just getting ready to for dinner with Matt. Are you rolling? I asked him to take a vlog for me and it's so difficult. Oh, for this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cold, mine. It's been hungry. Yes. I think you have one more egg on three. Lisa, sorry. This is the CJ bird with the pomelo salad. So definitely you can buy it on the bones. If you need some white rice, you can do so. I've got some gloves as well. Okay. This is one more, two more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're finally trying kotua. One thing to eat at this place, but uh, very hard to book. So someone's enjoying it so much. We absolutely devoured everything, by the way. Such a good meal, and this fish is so good. Look at the cat eating it. Say meow. Meow. <laughs> Today we are finally making a bit of progress, hopefully, because we are gonna be shopping for some stuff for the nursery to try to decorate it a little. And we are on our way to Ikea. Honestly, my style is quite minimal, as you guys can see my house. And I didn't plan to decorate much because I feel like the room should reflect the hill. And I don't know how he looks like or how he's gonna be like so I really want to make a lot of decisions for him and decide that he's gonna like like animals or like balloons or whatever so I think what I'm gonna do is just buy some photo frames and print some photos you know of like our milestones and his ultrasound and everything and kind of frame them up and yeah that will be his room Sure. Found these. They hang between rectangular or square. I'm not sure. I'm kind of like doing everything using my memory. <laughs> I didn't come with any measurements. So, but this one is like ten plus ten ninety. This is eight fifty. So if you times by like four or six, it does make a bit of a difference. Good morning! Guess where we are today? We actually woke up kind of late but we still managed to get breakfast. This is a typical Singaporean breakfast. We are in Yakun Kaya Toast. My favourite is not this but this. Oh my god, y'all need to try it. It's like really thick. It's the steamed Kaya peanut bun. Some people like this, light soy sauce. Honestly, for me, I'm not a fan, but typical Singaporean breakfast is as such. <laughs> hey, you guys put so much! Mm. You want it to be super black, yeah? I always have it for Hey. Why you move away? My friend Jenny from here bought us some baby clothes from Petit Bakou. Never heard of it before, but it's so soft, and these are like the onesies. I actually really like the colour. I think baby boys look cute in like these kind of 
green. Most of the coats that I bought for him so far are like white, cream, blue, navy, green, and occasionally yellow. This is like monkey printed. I hope he doesn't turn out to be a monkey, but yeah, <laughs> cute. Barbie Stronger, we chose the Barbie B6. Because I'll let you know, I'll show you guys everything when I'm done. <laughs> I thought I would update you guys about yesterday's Christmas gathering at my friend's place. I'm so happy because, number one, we had really nice food. I ordered zita from Samki Food and it was really nice, not cheap but nice. And we had cakes from Pop the Baker Boy. Highly recommend their bakes. Yeah, very cute and it tastes very good too. And the best thing is that I received another piece of news that one of my inner circle friends is pregnant. So just this Christmas alone, I have two inner circle friends that told me that they are pregnant. Yeah, it's the season guys, it's the season.